It looks like a uh, nasty surprise. Jamili's team is going to be playing the RMD with a Fire Mage and an Assassination Rogue instead. And then we've got uh, Northern Gaming Black or Northern Black uh, playing their Warrior Mage uh, Holy Paladin. I, I believe that's CMG playing Warrior. He kind of did he just like is he trying to say something about Warriors with his name? He just like. Hit his hand on the keyboard, and that's his warrior's name. And he's like, I play warrior hit, now. Hit, not his hand. He hit his head on the his keyboard. His transmog, man. No it's beautiful. I really like, I like the unstoppable force. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's that transmog. That, oh. that, that's another thing about Legion, is I feel like really, really top tier players are able to multi-class a lot easier. I think classes are uh, have been simplified a little bit. There's still a lot of complexity to the, most of the classes, but I think it's easier for people to multi-class so, so we can see CMG log on a warrior, and I think he'll probably end up playing it really, really well if he's been practicing. Yeah, we can see Nasty Surprise sneaking in, trying to get a triple crowd control opener. Uh, Rub Cub hiding behind the pillar away from Multi-Man, who is sad. They actually decide to open up onto Rub Cub. How is he going to deal with this initial pressure out from Nasty Surprise? They're they're holding on to their vendetta. They're trying to force bubble before that. They've got him down to 30%. They forced his avenging rats. They just might kill him outright. He is forced to bubble at 10%. And I believe ABN was able to hold on to the vendetta. So after this bubble, they might be able to just annihilate him. In the meantime, though, Jamili is dipping pretty low at about 50% HP. Here comes the vendetta out from ABN. This next kidney shot could be Rub Cub's life. Are they able to connect, though, is the question. It looks like he's dealing with the pressure very easily. Wealthy Man supporting him now as well with the Dragon's Breath Nova. ABN, Cloak of Shadows out. He's going all in onto Rub Cub. Knowledge even throwing out some dots as well. This could just be the end of the match. Jamili getting polymorphed up. ABN's trying to solo him. They break the polymorph and Rub comes down at 1% and will fall. <laughs> Nasty surprises aggression. Take down Northern Black in game number one. I really do think um, Jamili's going to be a, a, a hard target for um, Wealthy Man and Jax to get down. Oh, I, I just totally spaced out and didn't realize Jax is on the rogue now. So yeah, you might be completely right about the healer race. Sorry, I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be fast. Yeah. No matter yeah, what, yeah. this is going to be fast. And knowledge needs to be on the ball. Bear form is your friend as a resto druid, or druid in general. If you need to play defensively, you should be in bear form. And if you're not in bear form, you're probably dead. So let's see how well knowledge can deal with that. Because Rub Cup will have those immunity cooldowns to negate the pressure. And as long as he's rotating through them effectively, he should be able to survive. Uh, it looks like knowledge is, is stepping pretty close to Jax, actually, in stealth right next to each other. It looks like they want to go on Rub Cup again. Knowledge going for that Cyclone out of the sap over onto Wealthy Man. Rub Cub, Divine Steeds into the middle of the map. Maybe looking for a Hammer of Justice. Uh, not entirely sure, but here comes the setup over onto Knowledge. They've caught him, caught out of form. He trinkets right away. Jumps into Bear Form to negate a lot of this opening pressure. That was all of the cooldowns from Jax. He needs to make sure he stays on his target, but that Ursul's Vortex sucks Jax back. Jax is not able to connect for quite a long time. Iron Bark will be used as well, but it would be expected in this all-in opener from Jax that Knowledge needs to trade all these cooldowns. It's arguable he could have got away without using Iron Bark here, and it may May cost him the game, so we might we have to see Jax getting stunned up as they make a swap. Knowledge goes for the bash under Rub Cub, looking for that cyclone. It looks like the blink counter spell might have denied it there, and there is going to be no follow up. They get the polymorph instead. Jax's evasion is ticking here. He's dodging all the incoming attacks. Rub Cub gets cloned up though. Knowledge falls up the CC. Jax is on the run down to 30% HP. Rub Cub pops his avenging wrath to save the day. He should be able to heal through this damage. There's the instant heal back to full divine favor top off. Yeah, he's going to be fine for the time being, but Jax using a lot in that opener. He uses his evasion as well as the Cloak of Shadows. He doesn't have Trinket available. ABN getting swapped to right now. Knowledge not in any crowd control, but he does get hodged up there. Um, if Wealthy Man's able to follow that up with a Polymorph, ABN could be in a little bit of trouble. That is the full Polymorph on a Knowledge. He does have that Relentless Talent. Jax, though, getting dangerously low, down to around 40% HP. Doesn't have Cloak of Shadows for another 29 seconds, spamming out that feint. Rub Cub's still caught into that Polymorph, but he was able to get a big heal onto Jax. Um, but a lot of incoming damage from ABN and Jamili onto Jax. Uh, Rub Cub now caught into the bash. Jax trying to do everything he can. He wants to counter pressure. He wants to get away, but assassination roasts don't have that much uh, mobility. Knowledge now getting caught into a full kidney shot. A lot of damage going out onto him. That is the bark skin coming out. Cloak of Shadows once again used defensively by Jax there. Uh, he wants to try to train down Knowledge, but I think it's really hard for the Assassination Rogue um, to stick to a target like a Resto Druid, especially when he's getting peeled by a Rogue and a Mage. But Rub Cub getting swapped to um, right now by Jamili as well as ABN. Uh, Wealthy Man doing an excellent job with his peeling right now throwing those polymorphs onto Jamili, but it's not going to be enough. ABN is just relentless right now onto Rub Cub. Uh, Jamili finally able to reconnect, but Rub Cub gets away, spamming out those heals onto himself. It's going to be a long time before he can really top himself off, but uh, he is going to survive for now. Here comes another round of Vendetta out from Jax onto Knowledge. This could be the game if they can connect Jamili with the nice double Dragon's Breath into double Frost Nova. Knowledge needs to get out of line of sight and deal with this Vendetta. Seems to be surviving for now, but Jax actually used his Vanish. He's looking for a sneak attack. Who's he going to go after is the question. 
It looks like he's going after ABN. He's trying to punish the aggressive play here. Got another 70% knowledge to flex the attack with the Iron Bark. And it looks like Rub Cub could be in a bit of trouble down at half HP. He's trying to cross the map. Goes for that Divine Favor heal. Doesn't even heal for that much. Vendetta is now up. And this could easily be Bubble. Rub Cub immediately trading out his Bubble to stay alive and immune that Vendetta cooldown. Knowledge now caught into a Fist of Justice. Jamili blinks in. Or, or sorry, Welding Man blinks in. Follows it up with the Polymorph. Looks like they're going after ABN. They're going to force him to use Evasion with that Polymorph setup. And they actually do manage to get another Polymorph. If they can get any more CC, maybe a stun. It doesn't look like they have anything available right now. So Knowledge will be able to heal through the pressure. Dragon's Breath out from Wealthy Man. Looking for defensive sheeps on Jamili. Trying to deny any CC out from him. Jamili does get dispelled. Goes for the defensive sheeps. Jax gets locked down. Rub Cub could be in a bit of trouble if they're able to stay connected. But oh. ABN is the target as well. Both ABN and Rub Cub in a lot of trouble. Blessing and Protection stolen from Jamili. Wealthy Man unable to steal it off of him due to being Polymorphed. And ABN could easily go down. He's down to 20% HP remaining. Jax is looking to finish him off. Wealthy Man needs to get CC on Knowledge right now. He goes for the Dragon's Breath. He's trying to follow it with the Polymorph. Knowledge shapeshifts the Polymorph. ABN is going to stay alive for a few more seconds. Wealthy Man trying to get the sheep desperately onto Knowledge. He's just not able to get it. Kidney Shot follows up. Jamili denies it again with the defensive Polymorph. And there's still no CC. Vendetta out from Jax. He sneaks the sheep. And the Vendetta could just be the game. ABN, what is he going to do? He's just charging forward, trying to stay defensive. He actually broke Knowledge out of the sheep, I think, with the Fire Mage AoE. So that was good positioning. But they followed up again regardless. And ABN just so low on HP. Cloak of Shadows. He actually gets sapped there on his Vanish. Jack sapping the Vanish, and now ABN's still in trouble. Knowledge barely getting a big heal there. Overgrowth topping him off in the nick of time to deal with that Onslaught. He's not going to have a Vendetta anymore. I think ABN should be able to survive. He doesn't have Cloak of Shadows for quite some time. Jamili doing an excellent job there with his peels, though. Throwing out the Dragon's Breath double over and over and over onto Wealthy Man as well as Jack and throw out those Polymorphs. Now Rub Cub's going to be in a lot of trouble. He does not have that Divine Shield. He does not have Blessing and Protection. He does not have his Avenging Wrath for quite some time. It's going to be a nightmare for him to heal through this damage. The Vendetta goes out onto Rub Cub. It's almost actually fading here, uh, but I think Rub Cub's going to have a really hard time topping himself off. He gets behind the pillar. ABN desperately wants to reconnect uh, onto him, but he's getting cheap shot over and over and over by Jax. Jax actually throwing out the offensive Cloak of Shadows. Uh, realizes Rub Cub's going to be in trouble. That is the full kidney shot on a Rub Cub, though. Down to around 50% HP. That's going to be really hard, like I said, for him to actually get healing out. He needs to kite away he, uh, the best he can. Avenging Wrath comes out, but I don't know if it's going to be Whoa! enough. <laughs> Incoming Pyroblast. He gets out of line of sight. Throws off a huge heal onto himself, but ABN and Jamili are both going to reconnect. The full stun should be coming out soon. Rub Cub actually bopping that DR stun. Uh, it is staying up. Doesn't look like Jamili has spell steal available for the time being, so this could be uh, what keeps Rub Cub alive. ABN using that evasion, also getting dangerously low. It does have that iron bar coming out from Knowledge as well. Cloak of Shadows coming out. ABN should get topped off in the meantime, but now Rub Cub uh, actually having no cooldowns left um, is going to be in a little bit of trouble. But ABN at the same time um, taking some damage. Knowledge finally out of CC. Beautiful double Dragon's Breath coming out from Wealthy Man. In return, Jamili gets the double Dragon's Breath onto Jack and Wealthy Man. The Polymorph incoming. Uh, ABN getting low. Rub Cub also getting low, um, <laughs> uh, but Rub Cub managed to finally escape. Yeah, that follow-up on Knowledge kind of got dropped. It looks like Rub Cub's retreating into the room. They're trying to overextend ABN and kind of isolate him from his team, but Jamili and ABN, they're going all in onto Rub Cub. They're looking to finish him off. He Divine Steeds. He's mounted up. He's trying to get away, but he can't. Knowledge is right on his face as well. He might go for an offensive clone. Not entirely sure. Here's the stun onto Rub Cub. They're looking to take the game here and now. Uh, Jamili shooting up Jax, trying to stop any support and the kill attempt on ABN at the moment. Knowledge deflecting and getting a lot of kills going. Uh, another stun over onto Rub Cub. Vendetta is ticking in. Rub Cub running out of time. Can ABN connect to finish him off? It looks like he's just chasing him down. Wealthy Man caught into the polymers. Jamili controlling the entire team and Rub Cub falls. Nasty surprise. Take game number two on Runes of Lordaeron. Yeah, and I, that game I feel like really came down to knowledge isn't that great of a target and Rub Cub is pretty easy, like, like easily trainable. Uh, I think if they can get like perfect swaps on a knowledge, they might be able to get him down, but I think just with having that extra mobility and being able to like shift out of roots and snares and tank and bear form for a while. Like I, I do think the druid brings a little bit of an advantage um, in this healer race. Absolutely. So uh, as these tournaments progress, um, these UIs are going to get better and better, and we'll end up having like all of the cooldowns, all of the artifact um, cooldowns for every class, as well as all of, like the relevant defensive cooldowns and stuff like that. But it's still, despite the UI not being, in spite of the UI not being uh, the best, is still a really cool tournament. It's it's really cool to see these different compositions being played at such a high level. And yeah. I'm, uh, I'm 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 really curious to see uh, what some of these. Different teams are going to be running, um, see what method ends up playing in the tournament, and who actually ends up winning. 
Oh, so this is a cool choice from uh, Knowledge Running Druid of the Claw. So whenever he's in bear form, melee attacks have a chance to give him a rejuvenation. So if he's getting spam purged, he can just have those hots immediately applied. Definitely a really good PvP talent for rest of Druid specifically to survive a, a rogues like this setup. So cool choice from Knowledge. Uh, let's see what happens here. We can see the entire team of Nasty Surprise in stealth. Knowledge hiding very far back in the corner. He's terrified. If Jax gets a sap on him in stealth, it could just be the end of the game. So, looks like a sap over onto Rub Cub. Rub Cub does not have the luxury of going into stealth as a Holy Paladin. It looks like they're getting an opener onto ABN, though. Jax finding ABN. Opening all in! Every cooldown onto ABN. Knowledge trying to deflect it with an Iron Bark. Will this even be enough to survive the onslaught? Wealthy Man follows it up with a full power upon a Knowledge. Cloak of Shadows has now been used by ABN to negate a lot of that magical damage. It seems like Jax is still cutting through it. Another polymorph onto Knowledge. Rub Cub could be in trouble, but ABN needs to run away, I would imagine. No, he's just going all in. Uses the evasion to stay aggressive onto Rub Cub, committing his vendetta here. Rub Cub dipping dangerously low. How is he going to deal with the pressure? It could just be all of his cooldowns. Bubble has been forced. He was able to hold on. No, he was not even able to hold on to Avenging Wrath. Both of these teams are running on fumes. Yeah, absolutely. ABN now caught into that full kidney shot. Faint is going to fade. Uh, looks like he does get out of it running that PvP trinket and not relentless. So he does trinket that kidney shot. He's not going to have another one available. Still hovering at around 50% HP. And it seems like Wealthy Man and Jack's having a really hard time actually getting him lower than that. The Hodge going out onto Jamili, as well as the Polymorph onto Knowledge. Dragon's Breath coming out from Wealthy Man onto Knowledge as well. It looks like ABN is going to be fine for the time being. And uh, Jamili, as well as ABN, are looking to reconnect onto Rub Cub. ABN just sort of waddling <laughs> uh, his way over onto to Rub Cub. Rub Cub doing an excellent job kiting there, using those freedoms to get away. Um, and Jax and Wealthy Man also doing a great job keeping ABN snared. Uh, but now Rub Cub finally getting connected onto all the bleeds are going to be coming out onto him. Caught into that kidney shot. Jamili getting polymorph there. So nice cross see coming out from Northern Black uh, as well. They need to get those defensives out. They need to make sure that they're getting out those peels so Rub Cub can actually live. But Rub Cub right now has his Avenging Wrath up. Um, and he is going to be doing a significant amount of healing onto himself. He can sort of just trade ABN. Also, still hovering very, very low. He has pretty much every single hot in the game coming out from Knowledge. Uh, just spamming out that fade. Ooh. But now Knowledge fought into the full sheep. ABN might just go down here. He does not have the Cloak of Shadows. Vendetta coming out. This might be the kill. The full kidney shot onto ABN. Knowledge caught into that DR Polymorph. Down to 3% HP. 1% HP. And he is going to go down. Northern Black says it's not over yet, and they're going to take their first victory in the series and bring it up to a 1-2 score. So, yeah, I guess the persistence on ABN paid off. They're finally whittled down his trinket, get knowledge into a full CC chain, and uh, they were able to take him down. Both teams in a situation where you're like, well, we could go offensive, but I don't really have anything if he stuns me behind the pillar, so maybe I shouldn't. And then it creates that awkward moment where you have to make a decision to commit or a decision to retreat. And I'm interested to see if the, the cooldowns end up being traded the same way. I'm wondering why Rub Cub isn't just um, busting a protection in the, the Vendetta off instead and, and saving other cooldowns. Maybe he doesn't want to really dispel steal and then die through it regardless. Um, I, I, I don't play a Holy Paladin, so I will leave that judgment up to Rub Cub overall. But I feel like maybe there could be another way to, to rotate through the cooldowns. Let's see what happens here on Asha Main's fall map selection for a nasty surprise. One win away from advancing into the semifinals, I believe. ABN landing a full sap onto Rub Cub, looking to try and find somebody in stealth, maybe, or bait someone around the corner here. He's just waiting to see if Jax runs. Jax and ABN right next to each other, and Jax is ready to pounce on the ABN right here. Cheap Shot follows up. Good peels out from Jax. That's going to prevent a lot of damage onto Rub Cub. It looks like he commit the King's Bane on that kidney shot, but Rub Cub is able to kite away on that Divine Steed, land a full stun onto Knowledge. Knowledge pre Iron Bark it, though, so really nice play from knowledge. Regardless, Cloak of Shadows will be used from ABN. He's respecting the space. Jax committed his vendetta. He doesn't want to fall too far behind. Line of Siding now playing good defensively here. And that's what ABN needs to do. He needs to adapt to the strategy if they're going to train him down and play defensively when knowledge is CC'd. Yeah, I know Rud Cub caught into that full kidney shot. Keep in mind, he does not have a trinket. He just has Bob's and Bolt to get out of that and is, is going to be uh, his bubble cooldown. He needs to top himself off. ABN um, is the only player in this game that's running a trinket. Everyone else is using Relentless. So when you see Knowledge get Polymorphed, you see Rud Cub get kidney shot, those are full and they don't have bricks for them. Jamili getting Polymorphed up by Wealthy Man right now. Uh, Wealthy Man doing a great job playing defensively, but Rub Cub really just doesn't uh, isn't able to top himself off. He's trying to get away, uh, down to around 25% HP, but the dots are ticking. The bleeds of ABN are rotting him down over and over and over. But ABN also getting dangerously low. Knowledge not in any crowd control at the moment, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get out those heals onto ABN. ABN does not have his Cloak of Shadows up, hovering at around 15% HP right now. The Iron Bark, as well as the Overgrowth coming out from Knowledge. Uh, looks like it is going to stabilize ABN's HP. Rub Cub in the meantime able to get away now using those wings, so he wants to get aggressive. The full cheap shot onto ABN. This 
could just be it if they can get any crowd control onto Knowledge. The DR kidding shot going out onto Avion as well. Jamili playing well defensively, throwing out those polymorphs onto Rub Cubs on his offensive cooldowns. Uh, Wealthy Man actually deciding to go a little bit aggressive, using that ice oh, no. block to get out of a polymorph. Uh, the full Hodge into polymorph onto Knowledge right now. ABN actually using that cloak of shadows, just trying to kite, trying to get away, but he does have Vendetta on him. I don't know if Knowledge can heal through this damage. Down to 5% HP. Northern Black getting super aggressive. The kidney shot onto Knowledge, and that's going to be enough to take ABN down. And Northern Black is going to tie up the series 2-2. Two to two. And I think this strategy change of just sort of controlling ABN and forcing him to play defensive the entire game is exactly what they needed to do. Yeah, it looks like we do have a change of composition from Nasty Surprise. They are going to be bringing in the top deck direct on the Arms Warrior, looking to smash face with some extra burst damage. But these targets are also slippery. Uh, the Fire Mage can blink away, heal up, Nova, Polymorph, the Rogue is going to Evasion. The Paladin has a bubble, Freedom sprints to get away. I, I feel like unless they're going to commit really aggressively onto Rub Cub uh, overall, that the Swap to Warrior really isn't going to result in too much. Yeah, I think we're going to end up seeing Top Deck and Rec getting trained the entire game, similar to how ABN was. Uh, it might be a little bit easier for him to reconnect on a Rub Cub, maybe pressure Jax a little bit more, but uh, I think he's going to be under fire pretty much the entire game. He's charging across the map. Jax is trying to connect to him. He was actually able to kite almost that full sap, so that was actually really well played. It looks like they're committing all in. Vendetta on the top deck and wrecked. Ironbark traded out right away from Knowledge to deflect that damage. Jax is already down to half HP. It looks like a warrior on rogue action. Actually charging immediately over onto Rub Cub, caught into that bash. Uh, not able, actually not able to follow it up with anything just yet. They do go for the full fear. Uh, I would imagine they want to go after Jax after getting that evasion. They do charge over to Jax. He vanishes. He goes for the stun, but it was actually immune, so a bit of a misplay I think there from Jax. Regardless, Stab of the Sword has been traded out, so that was the major cooldown they were looking for from the Warrior. And now that that cooldown is out of the way, he's going to be very isolated. He's overextending onto Rub Cub. He's just looking for a bursty kill, trying to go all in at this moment in desperation. He gets the bubble out from Rub Cub, but now they need to punish this aggression. They need to get onto that Warrior right away. Yeah, they do. And Jax is actually going to be in a little bit of trouble, too. He doesn't have that Cloak of Shadows up for 45 seconds. He doesn't have his evasion up for another minute. Uh, if Rub Cub gets caught into a full Polymorph, he doesn't have Bubble available, and they might be able to capitalize with some pressure onto Jax. The full Hodge going out onto Knowledge, though. Top deck and Wreck caught into that full Kidney Shot. A lot of damage incoming from Wealthy Man as well as Jax. Knowledge trying to recover using that Iron Bark. Jamili and Knowledge getting Dragon's Breath up there by Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man trying to spam with those polys. Jamili did a great job locking him out right there. Uh, he is able to peel as well with the Sheeps onto Jax, the Bash onto Wealthy Man. So great defense of play coming out from Nasty Surprise. Uh, Rub Cub getting reconnected onto now, though. Top deck and rep using that Colossus Smash. Doesn't want to play too overly aggressive, though. The Sap going out onto Jamelia is going to break to that Ignite Tick. Top deck and rep trying to run away, uh, trying to let Knowledge's Hots top him off a little bit, but now he wants to get aggressive onto Rub Cub. But Top That's deck it. and rep still in a lot of trouble. The Hodge Sheep onto Knowledge. Top deck and rep down to around 19% HP. The Rallying Cry comes in, but it is not going to be enough. The bleed damage as well as the poison damage and that fire mage damage is going to be too much. And Northern Black is going to come back. Despite being in a 0-2 deficit, they uh, take the series against Nasty Surprise, knocking them down into the loser's bracket.